story short, I forgot to introduce who I am, so I'm hopping back on here. I'm actually drinking the mocha, peppermint mocha I just made, and it's really good, but I wanted to just say who I am because I realized not everyone knows who I am. So hello, my name is Calista Sue. If you guys are new, you guys should totally subscribe and comment and like this video just because why not? And yeah. Hello everybody, I'm so excited for today's video because I have found the best the best, I'm not kidding when I say the best peppermint mocha recipe. In case you guys didn't know, it is the best. I completely made it up by just experimenting with a bunch of different things and I was just like, I have to show you guys because I've been enjoying it every single day and this drink is so perfect to just like cuddle up when it's snowing outside or just by the fire and watch a Christmas movie. It's so decadent. It's so good. I'm in my pajamas because it was pajama day at school today and I wanted to wear Christmas pajamas. So let's make our peppermint mocha. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but with my fall decorate with me video, I said that I was in search for a new espresso machine and I did get one. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already been known this. You guys already knew I got this because I've been posting about it. But I just got the Breville. Um, I'll have this link in the description box below. I got it off of Amazon. These syrups are also from Amazon. So anything that I have here, I'll try and link below. Let's get into the ingredients. So the first thing you're going to need is coffee, obviously. I'm just using locally roasted coffee, you know, support small businesses and all that. But this is, this is just from Chaffee's Coffee in Delaware, and this is their Jamaican Me Crazy Coffee. I kid you not, guys. If you live in Ohio or the Delaware area or anywhere around Delaware, Ohio, you need to get this coffee. It's so good. It's really good to make it with like a caramel coffee but that's just kind of what i have in the grinder right now so this this is the way to my heart so good go get it if you can and then i'm using the Garadelli hot cocoa mix this is the one that i have it's just their mocha mix i prefer this one i think it's so good it tastes the closest to homemade hot chocolate in my opinion but any hot cocoa mix you have is fine or even if you want to make your own hot chocolate and then add in the coffee you can go ahead and do that you can do whatever you want but this is just the easiest and tastiest in my opinion peppermint essential oil but you can also use peppermint extract if you don't have peppermint essential oil this i just have in my house and it works so next up you're going to want anything that you're going to want for your toppings i'm going to be using candy canes the first step is you're going to add your hot cocoa mix to the bottom of this. If you're using the Garadelli mocha mix, it's two tablespoons at the bottom. If you don't want it that chocolatey, then don't add that full two tablespoons. I like mine to taste like hot cocoa, so I will be adding all of that. And then just to add a little bit of extra fudginess, I will be adding this Ghirardelli chocolate sauce. This is completely optional. You can even melt chocolate chips if you want to, but the Ghirardelli hot cocoa mix is chocolatey in itself. So I just add a little bit to the bottom, which you guys will see here in a minute. And then I also add, oh, I forgot. I had a little bit of vanilla syrup. This is optional. And then I add only one drop of this peppermint. If you're using essential oils, this is really important. One drop does not look like a lot and you're going to be tempted to add more, but trust me, do not do it. Do not do it. I made the mistake. Okay, so now that we have this concoction going on, I'm going to brew an espresso over top. If you guys don't have an espresso machine, you can just pour in a little bit of hot coffee or strongly brewed coffee into this and it'll be just as good. I'm just going to make an espresso shot with my new coffee machine. my milk this is the milk I use it's just two percent I know most baristas use whole milk it's not what I'm using today sometimes I do oat milk I just feel like this recipe tastes best with regular milk that's just my personal preference uh, I'm going to be steaming it only because I'm going to be doing latte art which the latte art I'm going to be doing is so easy 
honestly anyone can do it you can do it with just regular froth milk and if you guys don't have any fancy machines like a handheld froth or anything a little like life hack you can do is you can warm up coffee in the microwave put it in a mason jar and just shake it and that'll get air incorporated into the milk and froth it up for you guys that's just a super easy life hack for you guys because i know not everyone has these machines so i'm going to go ahead and steam my milk You guys need to go try out this coffee ASAP. It's delicious. And leave a comment down below if you guys did and if you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys changed up the recipe at all, let me know what you guys did because I'm genuinely very curious. So today's video was a shorter video, so I apologize. I just wanted to get this recipe out to you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.